Hi, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all had a good weekend. Today it's Monday. We'll be scraping out all day today. I've got the 65 on the scraper. I had it on there the last couple of months. I love this tractor. The steering on it is very, very heavy. There's no power steering. Constantly focusing on the ground. Especially around these small yards, which I'm normally used to the 434, but this one is so cumbersome. But the other one is uh, broken down in the workshop, so it'll be a little while until it's prepared. You can only just get in. Pick the hydraulics up, they are a little bit slow on this tractor compared to my old one. And also, as you're going along all day, that loves to just bang around, so I've got to tie that up at some point. You put it in third gear, lovely pop off the old exhaust. It's just a, a real lovely old tractor, this one. But like I say, you do have to drive it, no power steering or anything like that. So this one will, this one will go into the workshop in the spring. It's going to have the injectors done and a bit of work. And then in the meantime, I've got a a small tractor coming with a cab next week, which will replace it for a little while. So something a bit more manoeuvrable with a three-cylinder Gamar engine. Slightly faster than hydraulic, so it's not really supposed to be doing this job, it's just filling into the 434 which has blown up. So right, now we've got to put the straw in. Just got this last bit to tidy up this passageway here and then we'll stop for some coffee. The cattle are eating their pot of beef. The scraper's just up here. And I've got a cup of coffee in there, a flask of water beef, that's some coffee as well to warm us up. Right, well we'll just stop to put some water in the radiator. And, uh, in one of these thermal flasks, which I, I did have one of these years ago, and uh, I changed to another make and it kept them right, so I've got this flask which I use this time of year for coffee. I'm hoping it'll work out quite well when I go hedge cutting. Oh, there we go. All going well despite the 65. Fuel injector problems, a few issues, but you know, it's doing the job, it's filling in a gap. Yeah, well, I've got another tractor coming soon, a two-wheel drive one, which we'll use, that's all we'll do. A little one with a cab, Solace, which I was supposed to get last year, a couple of years back. And now they've finally got one in stock, so that will be coming in the next couple of weeks. And that'll be nice to have a cab, to be fair, and air conditioning, I hear it's got as well. And power steering is a big thing, and it's small. This is too big. Um, as much as I love this tractor, it's, it's not for scraping, really, but it is doing the job today. Um, really, you know, doing jobs like this today, I'm not on the 6.9 today, I can't wait to get back in the 6.9.30 because the, the fields are too wet and it's going to be put on the hedge cutter soon as well. And it makes you appreciate the modern tractors driving the old ones for a day, especially with the steering. Now, of course, what we should be using today is the 135, as my, uh, as my dad told me last night. He said, uh, you should really get that 135 out the shed and you should use that on the, on the scraping job. And uh, I said, yeah, well, Dad, that's like taking a Rolls-Royce banger racing. Like, it's just, it's just not going to happen. So um, we've got to find another tractor suitable for scraping until the other 434 is fixed. So, yeah, I want to get back in the 6.9, really, the 6.9.30. So here's a montage of 
when I'm in the nice modern tractors. We've uh, scraped the yard up, just waiting to put the cows out. Dad's pushing up the muck pile with the manatee, and um, these cows will about to go out again to the silage. So they'll be calving soon, and literally the next four weeks, um, these will be calving. So I've got to keep an eye on them, make sure that they're all okay, and make sure that they're fed the right amount. They don't, they don't, don't want to be overfed uh, this time of year, because then that's sometimes when you get the problems of calving is when they've been overfed. So we're, we're just trying to keep their diet right at the moment and uh, keep an eye on everything. We've got a meeting later with the um, a farm farm agent from the Brown & Co farm, farm consultancy place. It's to do with the new SFI, which is the Sustainable Farming Incentive, which means that the farm will get paid based on its work for the environment and also how much food it produces, if I'm right. Um, quite interesting, really, because over the weekend I was watching Farming Life at La Forge, which is about an Irish family uh, who have moved to France and they're farming in France and have some really interesting schemes and subsidies. I think they're about to put a solar park in and new sheds going up and just loads of things going on. And there's a few French farming YouTubers I watch as well who always are doing some cool things. And the government seems to really be getting behind the French farmers, you know. Um, whereas in this country, I just wonder what's going to happen over the next few years. I don't think leaving the European Union has been great. However, we'll look forward to the next couple of years and see what happens. I think it's going to be really interesting to see whether the government supports British farming or whether they just want us to be park keepers. Um, you know, it's going to be really interesting. So I hope they reward farmers for producing food in this country and not just being park keepers because we've got a big population of millions and millions, 70 million people, and all those people have got to be fed. And the more self-sufficient we can be in this country, the better, I think. And I just wish if we could convey that somehow... I think we have done that over the years. It's just the issue is the politicians never really seem to listen and look after the farmers in the right way. And ultimately, it will help the consumer because we can bring the food prices down rather than importing it from all over the world. And I think that would make a big difference as well. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting for years ahead. And uh, I'm quite excited and also sceptical at the same time. I think a lot of farmers are feeling the same way at the moment, hopefully. Leave a comment in the comments section if you feel a similar way about the uh, current farming landscape in the UK. Hi, this is all being sorted out. The cattle will go back outside. The scraper will be finished off and put away. We can't transport any muck today because of the weather. And next week we'll get some better weather. We'll be out cut, um, carting the muck again. So. I'm going to finish this off, put the tractor away, and then we'll be looking ahead to tomorrow where we'll be out with the ranger out in the field. So thanks for watching, keep liking and subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one. Click here to subscribe to the channel, and click here to watch another Ollie's Farm video.